So what I'm going to talk about is a new optimization modeling tool called NEMO, or the Next Energy Modeling System for Optimization, which has also been about two years in development and which we're releasing alongside LEAP 2020. It's designed to work with LEAP 2020. So this tool is a, it's a, a, an open source energy system modeling tool that's been designed from the beginning for high performance. And so unlike LEAP, LEAP is a closed source tool. This tool is open source and you can look at the source code if you want and download it. And it's designed to either work in, in, a, in a command line mode as a standalone application or with LEAP as a graphical user interface. So what we're trying to do with, by attaching it to LEAP is really to bring some additional optimization capabilities within the LEAP framework. We've built NEMO to really with a focus on analyzing critical and emergent questions in contemporary policy. It's in, really intended to do things like modeling of grid integration of variable renewable energy, deep decarbonization pathways, analyses of robust energy futures under climate change, and more. We built this tool in, a, in an open source language called Julia, which is a new, new language, really a cutting edge, edge language that's intended for high performance mathematical computing. And we're making it freely available to everybody under an open source license. So the reason why we undertook this project with NEMO was to fill a gap in the modeling tools that are available to energy planners, really to be able to provide a, an optimization modeling tool that is affordable, transparent, functionally powerful, and offers good performance. Right now, there are, there are many optimization tools available to energy planners, but nothing that hits this, that fills this niche, fills this, this combination of being able to be freely available, but also have really good performance and a significant range of functionality. Our intent with NEMO and, and by pairing NEMO with LEAP is really to bring substantial optimization capabilities to a broad range of users, all of you in the LEAP community and others, particularly in low and middle income countries, to offer this advanced functionality through an interface, LEAP, that makes it reasonably usable by people who are not full-time modelers and who haven't spent their career studying optimization tools. And then to go from there to supporting the next generation of sustainable energy analyses with LEAP to help all of you take the next step in your energy analyses to look at questions of high renewables penetration, deep decarbonization, and other relevant questions. As a tool, NEMO offers quite a lot of features right now. We have more that are on the way, which Charlie will talk about toward the end of the webinar. But right now, it's a tool that can be used for full least cost optimization of an entire energy system, supply and demand. It supports modeling of multiple regions and regional trade, energy storage modeling, which is a key capability that we've integrated with LEAP 2020 to allow simulations of energy storage within LEAP. NEMO also supports nodal network simulations of transmission and distribution grids and pipelines. So you can model power flow and pipeline flow within NEMO and you can disaggregate your energy supply and demand modeling over a nodal network and figure out what's happening at each node in the network. It supports emissions and emission constraints, including carbon pricing and the pricing of pollutants as externalities, and those can be taken into account in the cost optimization, as well as renewable energy targets to simulate policies like renewable portfolio standards. We've designed NEMO with parallel processing, within it to try to improve the performance and a number of other performance, uh, performance tuning options as well. And the parallel processing capabilities allow you to split the work of the, of the construction of the model over multiple processors and even potentially multiple machines really to speed up that part of the model simulation. And with NEMO, we support multiple solvers, both open source solvers and commercial solvers. Fundamentally, NEMO formulates a, a mixed integer linear optimization problem, which does require a separate solver to solve. But we, we at present support five different solvers, including some open source options and some of the big commercial options, such as Gorobi and Cplex. And we designed NEMO also to make, the, make it easy to get the data in and out. The data are stored in an open source relational database. It's a, it's a platform called SQLite. So this allows really easy access to the inputs and to the outputs. 
that allows you to use SQL, if you're familiar with that, or tools that leverage SQL to, to manage data for Nemo. So Nemo offers this feature set right now. We've, we've really integrated quite a number of these already with Leap in Leap 2020. There are a couple that I've starred here, which are coming soon. So within the next several months, I think you can expect to see additional capabilities that within the Leap user interface that will allow you to leverage some of these features within Nemo. Here's how you can get Nemo now. And now we, we have a site, a GitHub site, where you can view the source code and download the source code if, if you want to do that. But we've also created an installer for Nemo, particularly for using Nemo with Leap. This installs the tool in a way that's optimized for performance with Leap. And you can access that through our Leap website at our download link. And the documentation for Nemo is also all available publicly at this time at the link that I've shown here. Now, I will say some, some people have already asked if this presentation will be shared with participants after the webinar, and it certainly will be. So you'll get these URLs as well. And I'll just also say that when it comes to using Nemo with Leap, we've really worked hard to make that installation as seamless as possible. All you have to do is to install Leap 2020, install Nemo, turn Leap on, and Leap should recognize where Nemo is and should start to work with it.